Hello and welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and we still see Megan lying about this uh, fake paparazzi. It's not only Megan and Harry, but also their shields, such as Jack Royston, who is claiming on Newsweek that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle ambushed by paparazzi amid house drama. I'm not gonna read this piece because it's full of, uh, you know what it's full of, but thanks to Harry's gray suit, we have the uh, the, the real deal here. H&M ambushed by paps. Well, paps conveniently show up on a rainy night in LA at a private club just in case the back rows showed up sure. Falling on the floor, Meg says hi to the pap. H, so triggered by camera flashes, says thanks guys. But you have to see it for yourself. I'm gonna show you the video and you will judge your own way. Hi Megan. Yeah, you heard Megan saying hi to the pap. She say hi Megan and she answer hi like see she's hyper hyper comfortable hyper comfortable with them being there and yeah that that megan smile you can't uh, <laughs> you you can tell that she's glad of being photographed at that moment hey harry you looking good harry By the way, just such a coincidence that the paparazzi were waiting outside a private club, which, uh, by the way, is related to Soho House. It's important. That is important. And of course, the paparazzi were from from Bag Red. Oh. Oh, wait for the last part. And the best one. We're gonna hear Harry saying right at the end. Right at the end. Yeah, the video cuts, but you can make out that Harry says, thanks guys. And um, thanks guys, who could it be? This is gonna be the bodyguards, the driver. Who is he saying thanks guys to? It could be the paparazzi. Absolutely. You know that. Harry is a little is a little slow. And by the way, I should have been reviewed that uh, Colbert uh, questionnaire, but uh, I, I really could not stand through the whole ordeal. It was terrible to watch, really uncomfortable, and the canned laugh was the worst of all. But I noticed that once again, uh, we are talking about a man that has uh, some kind of, uh, well issues because not only he mentions so many times the todger part on his book but he also was asked this question like if he had ever asked for an autograph of someone and he said yes to the rugby team um, when they won the world cup whatever and he was uh, at the dressing rooms and he said that he was really excited of watching all of them right there and asking all 15 of them to sign his shirt. But he mentioned, uh, you're not going to see in the captions here, and I'm not going to play it just in case of copyright reasons. But he says they were all standing there with their wheelies dangling. I mean, why is that important? Why is that important for this? Why is that important for the fact that you asked for their autographs? And yeah, Colbert had to ask, did they sign with pens? Did they sign on your shirt uh, with pens? I, I don't know. It, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a joke that a teenager would appreciate, but uh, not Colbert, not Harry are teenagers. So I don't know what is the uh, target audience here besides uh, uh, the non-existent people in front of them. But I find it odd that Harry has this, uh, this this constant reference to his todger or other men's todgers. It's like, well, I, I don't want to say anything about that. But you know that 
When someone mentions something over and over again, I'm not going to say that Sigmund Freud is always on point, but, well, I, 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 what can I tell you? Let's just move on because this is getting uncomfortable. By the way, in terms of that ambush of paparazzis, I got two very interesting comments on the internet. Ambush. The company taking the pictures are paid the four paps. One calls ahead to make sure they are there to take their pictures. This is from Jake Royston article. Uh, it's like he was pretending that these paparazzis were not paid for when everybody, everybody knows it. So it's embarrassing that a reporter or a journalist or whatever he's called uh, right now, or whatever these people are called, uh, have to resort to try to fool people and people and, and the public already knows this. And also really sloppy journalism when you don't do not research to find that back rate is paid for paparazzi. No, he knows that. He knows that, but he won't he won't dare to say. He will never say that. And we got I got this question. Why do you think about Catherine's hat? Uh, recently the same day that we got Froxit, and this was my answer, right in the middle of Froxit, Catherine appears with a hat that resembles a Zulu shield. I, I saw it. Uh, I saw that instantly, and wearing red and black, red and black, the colors of war. So she means business. I got a lot of flack for this, but I really don't care. I'm, I'm truly beyond any criticism. I love symbols. I love symbolism. I have studied them for, well, quite a while. Not because I had to, because I wanted to. I'm a really big fan. And it's something that just pops up and you cannot unsee that. You cannot unsee that, well, maybe the shape is not exactly the same, but it's not hard to make out. The, uh, the, the the symbolism and the figure of what we are talking about, especially with dressing and those colors, a very high contrast. And what about this? Thanks to Luna on Twitter for pointing out the globes. I see a pair of eyes. This pattern here, this pattern is a pair of eyes. I have seen this, uh, this sort of uh, eyebrows in other places, but right now I really don't remember where. But I see a pair of eyes like, well, she is she is well aware of what is going on. She is, she has, she's not, she doesn't have her eyes closed. She is aware. Let's see what can we expect in the following weeks. But also, this is something that I failed to comment on a few days back. Meghan Markle was surprised and disappointed that Prince Harry had very, very little money, royal expert claims. And I, I guess that's why Meghan began to move instantly to make sure that the brand, the Sussex Royal or Royal Sussex or Royal or Sussex, Sussex were used in a lucrative way. Luckily, the Queen intervened to stop her from doing so, from those plans where we're going to be uh, monetizing something that is uh, part of the general public, could I say. It's not, it's not for, for Meghan to take. But I think with, with what we have seen so far with Spotify and Netflix, it's like, well, Meghan has been trying to make it lucrative the fact that she is a duchess so i don't think they are going to to relinquish those titles anytime soon and in some good news i, I love i love this picture i love this picture from the prince and princess of wales pleasure to welcome the crown prince and princess of norway to windsor this morning in discussing green energy the environment and much more this uh was a really interesting, especially for the contrast. I don't think uh, the princesses um, thought about combining their dresses that way. I don't, I don't think they talked to each other about the color of their dresses. So maybe their aides did. Maybe this is a thing. Because the contrast of colors is just perfect. I, I really like that. If you have information about this, if uh, you think that they could have a talk to each other or 
the aides or the courtiers of each house talk to each other to synchronize this because this is really well planned. It's just look stunning. I and I love uh, Catherine's. It's it's a, it's like a it's like a suit. It is green, but it's a green, an emerald green, very interesting green that it's like turquoise. And you know that comparisons are never fair, but I couldn't couldn't help but notice Megan Small that tweeted this. The Queen and other royal women hold their own umbrellas. Uh, then you get a failed ex-cable TV mattress actress who has others hold it for her. Yay, feminist. Uh, you see uh, the Queen, Her Majesty the Queen, her own umbrella. Yes, what is the problem with that? Catherine here holding a, that is a huge umbrella. And we also have Princess Anne holding her umbrella, no problem. And of course, thanks to a royal insta blog, don't forget it's a black man holding her umbrella. We are, why are the racist optics, where are the racist optics warriors? Nowhere to be seen, of course, because you know, this is, this is a suit, pun intended, that Megan puts on whenever she likes, you know, the 15 shades of Megan. Now, we have more than 15 shades by now. And if uh, there are people that complains about this, there, there are sugars that might be angry about this. Well, you can call, thanks to Duchess Pinocchio, we, we know the, uh, the Wambulans. For millennials, the snowflakes and cupcakes and sugars too that get triggered with my videos. Well, you can call at Wambulance to cry uh, everything that you want. To cry all you want. There it will be for you. My Royal Rogue is my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet in another video or another live, remember much love and bliss.